Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a game played by 4 year old Jose Raul Capablanca. As you know, according to Capablanca, he learned the rules of chess at the age of 4 by watching his father play with friends, pointed out an illegal move by his father and then beat him. History didn't save that game, but there is another one played at age 4 which is the first surviving game played by the third world chess champion. The game was played in 1893 on the 17th of September. At the time of this game, Capablanca was 4 years, 9 months and 29 days old. His opponent was Ramon Iglesias, who gave queen odds. As you can see, the queen on d1 is missing. And now let's see what is going to do Mr. Iglesias on the board without a queen. Moreover, against him is sitting the future world chess champion. Iglesias was playing with the white pieces opened up with e4. Capablanca answered with e5. By the way, as you know, the aim of playing handicap chess is to enable a weaker player to have a chance of winning against a stronger one. Knight f3 by Iglesias, knight f6, like we have a Petrov's defense without a queen, knight takes e5 and knight takes e4. When the queen is on d1, black is first playing d6 and only then is capturing on e4, preventing queen d2. But as there is no queen, we have knight takes e4, d4, d6, knight f3, bishop e7, bishop d3, and knight f6. Although d5 looks more active, but in our game we have knight f6, c4, black castled kingside, knight c3, knight c6, a3, a6, bishop d2, b6. Hard to say what was in Capablanca's mind when he played b6, but... I guess that move was made for a reason. White castle queenside, bishop d7, king b1, knight a5. Black wants to put his knight on b3 and we have it knight b3. Rook c2, c5, d5, rook e8, h4, b5. There it goes. Capablanca is attacking on the queenside. In return, white is going for a hasty counterattack on the king side. And black could even munch this pawn on g4. But Capablanca played knight d4. Knight takes d4. C takes d4. Knight e4 and b takes c4. Uh, Capablanca is not hurrying with knight takes g4. Although even at this point he could go. But the reason that white went for this g4 was to tempt black to win it and open up the g5 thus creating a counterplay, but in our game we have b takes c4, knight takes f6, check bishop takes f6, bishop takes c4, and finally we have bishop takes g4. Black is just doing great, and let's not forget, black has an extra queen. Bishop d3, bishop f3, rook h3, and there it goes, the pawn on d5 drops. h5, bishop e6, rook g3, g6, f4, Bishop h4, rook g1, king h8. Capablanca is playing very cautiously. f5, and we have bishop takes f5. So it goes for a pawn sacrifice, and as a result, manages to open up the g5, but of course there is nothing wrong with black's position. Bishop h6 with some bishop g7 threats, but that's not a lethal threat. Black can even go for d3. Yeah, if bishop g7 check then here, you can't even give a perpetual check. Black has this bishop g5 move. If here, then queen takes g5, followed by d takes c2. But in our game, we have rook g8. Capablanca is not interested in giving his opponent a slight edge. Rook g2, in here we have the exchange of rooks and queen f6. Although bishop takes f6 looks better, but... He is allowing bishop g7 check and is giving up his queen and in the end of the day black has two extra pieces with a totally winning position. Yeah, even if it weren't these pieces then again black's position is winning. King c2, king f6, king d3, king e5, well it was high time to resign but 
Iglesias did it only after king e2, king e4. There it goes. Capablanca decided even not to make use of his pieces. He centralized his king and forced a resignation. As said, normally odds games are decided by blunders made by the odds receiver, but here Capablanca makes no blunders and he won confidently. In the end, a chess puzzle for you where the task is to find made in two. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.